Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about phase detection in web. And we are going to use a web framework in Python called Flux. And I am also using OpenCV to actually detect the phases in real time. So as you can see here, it is a demo. So you can see here a mapboard, phase detection apps and icon also. Okay, so you can also see here in it's detect my phase in real time. So in this video, we are going to make this one. So let's get started. So first thing first, I wanted to say one thing that is, if you are new in the channel, so please do subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon. And also please watch the tutorial till end. So if you wanted to complete this project, you need to do some installations. So you need to install a library called OpenCV. So let's say pip install and library name is nothing but OpenCV Python. So make sure that you install the latest version of OpenCV. Now you can see here requirement already satisfied. That means this library is already installed in my system. So that also you need to install a library called Flux. Okay, sorry. Flux. Okay. So this is already satisfied in my uh, local machines. You can see your requirement already satisfied. So you need to install these two libraries. Then you can build your web apps. So let's get started and jump on our Visual Studio code. So now you can see here a folder called phase direction web apps and I already created before in my directory. So inside this directory you can see here two files. So first file is nothing but for the head cascade frontal default.xml file. So this XML file actually help us to detect the faces and this is not about the document. So I'll be explaining, I'll be detail, I'm explaining later what's the document.txt file. Okay, don't worry on that. So I'm going to click here to create new Python file. So main.py, let's say main.py. So you can see here, this is the Python file, main.py and you can see your Python icon. Okay, so first thing first, you need to import CB2 because in this way, just we are going to detect the web, just we are detecting the face, then we are going to implement the code in web. So first thing first, you need to actually uh, create a video capture object to because we're dealing with the real time. So let's say video, we call CB2, CB2 dot video capture. Okay, and inside this parameter, we need to put here zero because you're going to use our initial webcam. Okay, so let's say while true, then red frame equal video dot read. That's when we are reading the video from our video capture objects. Okay, so we need to put here a I am show so which one will actually help us to uh, show our pop up window. Okay. So let's say frame and mat is nothing but our this frame. Okay. Let's say cb2 dot white key. And inside this parameter, you need to put here one. Okay. So let's put in the variable called k. So if k equal, that's mean if anyone press key from the keyboard, so this infinite loop will be back. Okay. Okay, so that's the video dot release and finally cb2 dot destroy all windows. Okay, so this is the code for actually opening up our camera. Okay, so let's save it and run the code here. Run code. Okay, so now you can see here we actually uh, opening my webcam. So we need to detect them, our faces. So let's detect it. So you're using this hair cache kit. Okay. So now I am actually detect, uh, discussing about the face detections, okay, not in web. So after implementing this in this uh, main.py file, then we go for the web apps. That's when we are going to implement this code in web. Okay, so let's create a variable called face detect. And that's a cb2 dot cascade classifier. And you need to put here the path of this cascade classifier. So let's use this one. You can also let's you, you can also copy the path, but because it's this one in the same folder, so you do you need to copy this one, okay? So let's paste it here. Dot XML. Okay. So now you can also convert your frame into grayscale, so it actually work fine in the grayscale. But I'm not going to actually convert this in a grayscale. So let's say frame equal 
uh, let's not frame let's say phase is because if there are multiple number of faces it can detect so that's mean from the phase detect dot detect multi scale we need to put here our frame so our image is nothing but our frame and we need to put here the scale factor so scale factor nothing but 1.3 and the main nebula or flags and the mean size and the max size so let's put here 5 okay so for so our faces actually give us four below x comma y and w comma h so x is nothing but the x coordinate and y is nothing but the y coordinate and w is the weight and the height okay so for in faces these faces and after that you're going to create a rectangle here so cb2 dot rectangle cb2 dot rectangle rack okay not even rectangle this rectangle so first one is image and the points one points two and the color okay so our image is nothing but our frame and points one is nothing but x comma y and this points two is nothing but x plus w and y plus h and let's put here a color let's say color color let's say two five five zero two five five I need to put here the thickness okay so let's say uh, put here the thickness is two let's run the code i think it will detect my face correctly yep so you can see you detect my face correctly okay correctly okay make sure that your camera should be more what do you call it? more 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 qualified okay that means if your camera resolution is good and it will detect the face correctly okay so now we need to actually create some lines but why lines because if you see in demo before so you can see here our faces are nothing but a rectangle and in the in the top right and the top left and the bottom right and the bottom left corner you can see here some lines okay in the x lines or y lines okay there's an x coordinate and the y coordinate we create some lines okay so these are called the lines so you need to actually create that lines here so let's create that so let's say lines so first create the lines for the left corner okay so if i go on the paint and i'll be explaining what actually i am talking about so now i am come on my paint app so let's say assume that this is the faces let me detect it so this is nothing but the top left corner and this is the top right corner and this is the bottom left and the bottom right corner okay so in our demo you can see here there are some lines so if I choose the color as red, that's a red color. This is nothing but the line. Okay, this is nothing but the line. And also this one for the uh, bottom left and the top right corner and the bottom right corner. So this is nothing but the lines. So now we need to actually create this lines. So this is nothing but for the X coordinate and this is nothing but for the Y coordinate. Okay, and this is nothing for the white okay this coordinate white and the height of the actual frame so that's when we actually got the height weight and the x coordinate and the y coordinate of our faces okay that's mean x comma y comma w comma h from our faces okay sorry for my bad handwriting <laughs> okay so now we need to actually actually create that okay we need to actually create this these uh, lines okay so let's jump on our code again okay this is called the lines so if i cb2 dot let's say line so now it takes some argument so first one is our image so image is nothing but our frame and points one okay so points one is nothing but actually start from the x coordinate that's mean top left corner okay x coordinate to y coordinate okay x coordinate to y coordinate okay then we are going to increase okay we're going to increase the size of the x that's when you're going to create a line here okay like that line here okay so that's mean x let's say create the line length as let's say 30 and for the y we give it as constraint that's when we don't put here the y in the this portion okay if i run the code then it will be actually uh, you can understand what actually happening here okay okay some problem color is not defined okay sorry you need to actually put here the color also control c and also you need to put here the thickness okay so let's put the thickness let's say 12 okay and let's say run the code 
Yep. So now you can see a lines here. Okay, lines. So this lines is nothing but for the x coordinate. X. Don't put here in y. So you need to also put here in the y coordinate. Okay. So let's copy it out from here. Control C, and again paste it here. So now you can see here it actually detecting correctly. So now you need to put here in the y coordinate also. So it's this time it will actually. Uh, uh, what do you call draw in the y coordinate also run the code again now you can see it, it, it draw in the x coordinate and the y coordinate that's when this is the actual top left corner and to also do the same thing in the right corner also okay so let's do it okay so i'm going to copy this and you see and paste it here okay let's format it so this is nothing but for the top left okay this is for the top left okay i think okay sorry this is nothing but for the top left yeah right that okay so now we need to put here uh, we need to do the same thing for the top left right sorry yeah let's say make it as right so this time our uh, y coordinate x coordinates is nothing but for the top right corner so now you can see here we actually did we actually recall points one to points two now you can see it will go to the x coordinate to the x plus w that's mean this is nothing but for the top right corner coordinate so let's make a variable to actually store them let's say x1 and the y1 and let's copy out from here so this is nothing but for the coordinate of the right okay so we can change here to actually make this one so for the top right if i change this at the x1 that's because we need to change the x axis so you can change the x axis that's x1 and the x1 okay so if i run the code right now and run the code so now you can see here it in the outdoor okay so to make it in the indoor so let's make it as indoor so we need to actually we put here add so we need to actually uh, minus here okay to actually get this thing so x coordinate we keep here minus 10 that's mean it will go indoor okay yeah we, we actually do that so it also detect the top left and the top right so we do the same thing for the what do you call bottom left and the bottom right okay so let's do it and let's copy it from here again control c and let's paste it again so let's make it for net so this is nothing but for the bottom left corner okay so for the bottom left we are go down so for the bottom left the y coordinate is nothing but the this one y plus a because we go to the bottom okay bottom that's mean this position bottom so you need to actually change the y1 and also the y1 okay why y1 because if i go to the again paint okay see clearly okay so this is the nothing but the height so this is nothing but the x coordinate and the y coordinate but when you go to this bottom left, that means it will actually join the y coordinate and also the height. Okay, so y plus h we put into variable called y1. So if I take, if you get the position of this y1, we need to change the only y1. We don't need to change the x value because this is the position of the y at the height. Okay, and now you can see here this is the x1 the y1 and this is nothing but for the x plus w if i go to this position the x plus w equal to we put in the variable called x1 in our code okay and for the y is nothing but constraint here okay but if when we go to these directions our x is constant but our y is nothing but y plus h but when we go to this bottom right one so our y plus h also be calculated and also our x plus w will be calculated okay i think it will hope sense to you okay 
x plus w and also y plus h for these positions for this position but these positions only you calculate the y1 and this position you also calculate only for the x1 and y is nothing but the cone strength okay and this time nothing is here okay so let's go over code again okay so let's do it for the bottom left so our bottom left our x is nothing but the constraint and we can change here x13 and let's make it as y1 and also let's make it as y1 okay so let's save it and run the code so now you can see here it's outdoor so which direction is the uh, coordinate of the y that's in this direction so you need to minus them so let's make it minus 30 okay again run the code yeah right now okay so now you can see here it actually detecting correctly and the lines are good so you need to do the same thing for the bottom right okay so let's copy it out from here this is the actual thing okay this is the actual thing and if you understand this thing very clearly so you don't have to worry about the web apps okay so this is for the x1 and the x1 and we all need to change the x1 and the x1 and the nothing but y1 y1 is also done and if i try to run the code again ctrl s and run the code so now you can see here it's again the outdoor okay you need to go to in the indoor so this is nothing but the x coordinate so you do minus them again and go here is our x let's say make it as minus i think this time it will detect correctly wow that's fine what wow, fine man so let's try to decrease the size of these lines and the thickness okay so let's make the thickness as one i think it will be okay and let's say make it as six i think it looks some um, professional <laughs> i think i think that's on the code yeah right now it's so cool so now we are going to actually what do you call uh build our web apps so this is the part one and in part two uh we are going to actually discuss about how can you implement this code in web and we're going to use a uh, flux okay in part two i'll be explaining uh, the all the things details so this is a tutorial hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and thank you and bye bye and i'll be back in part two